Hello everyone, I'm Veronica Papacosta, CEO of Seafood Industry Australia. Joining me here today is Dimitri Demosthenos, General Manager, Commercial at Sea Harvest Trading. Good morning, how are you? Great, thank you for coming along and recording with us today. Sea Harvest is SIA's newest member, and today we're going to learn more about them and hear about what led them to join SIA. Now, Dimitri, can you tell me a little bit about the trip you're on and the Sea Harvest operations? Yeah, absolutely. Um, sea Harvest is uh, very much a West Australian uh, fishing business that's very much vertically integrated um, with a focus on, on wild caught sustainable seafood. Um, we, um, the business has been around uh, predominantly through the Shark Bay side um, since 1963. Um, we had a private entity in, in Maritarum Foods uh, take acquisition in 2015. Um, in which we amalgamated the Craig Moyston Food Service Division together with that and formed the Maritarum uh, Trading Division and, and the fishing business. Um, that's been a great ride. Uh, we've had Sea Harvest um, be a shareholder of that business since day one of 2015. And then over time took uh, bigger chunks of ownership and then took total acquisition in 2017. So it, it's been a, we were very much about wild sustainable seafood from ocean to your plate, if you like, as, as part of our business. Uh, Shark Bay, the last five, six years have been fantastic in relation to how we've gone to market and branded and told our story per se. And we're very much about the provenance. Uh, we're very much about the sustainability. We're very much about being wild caught. So, I mean, that, that's a big part of, of who we are and, and how we became Sea Harvest from Maritarum. And that occurred in 2000. And, uh, 17. Yeah. So the last uh, four years have been um, very much under the Sea Harvest banner. Um, we, we, our mother company, Sea Harvest, is from South Africa. We were very much Hake fishing company producers, um, and so they they're all about fishing. Uh, they're all about marketing uh, globally and and making sure that year on year there's product to be sold and caught at a sustainable level. Fantastic. And so in early 2022. Uh, sea Harvest acquired the West Australian fishing business and one of Australia's most well-known and loved seafood businesses, MG Kalis. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we'd love to hear a bit more about you on that acquisition and how it complements the Sea Harvest business in Australia. Yeah, for sure. Um, the MG Kalis part um, was, was an exciting transition because it was one that was a comparable size business to our own. So. Um, Sea Harvest through the Shark Bay Fishing had the 10 licenses out of the 18, so we were a 56% stakeholder of that fishery. And the beauty of the MG Kalis acquisition is, is we were able to bring in the six vessels and, and total Exmouth prawn fishery within our business. Um, the other beautiful part about um, the MG Kalis side is they have the Pilbara Trawl fishery, where, which brings fresh fish into the Perth marketplace. Um, we bring in, um, at the moment we're running two vessels, we run about what we call um, uh, two vessels over eight months of the year and one vessel for about the other four months on, it, on its own. But it, it's a good volume of, of, we talk about the 20 to 25 tonne per week sort of fishery um, of fresh fish. Um, and with that, we were, through the Sea Harvest business, we had the Kimberley, uh, which uh, had our, we have three um, designated Spanish mackerel vessels that produce frozen fillet on board. Um, with that, we have a bit of Kimberley banana prawn that we also catch and, and trade through the local Australian market. I think the biggest part of the MG Kalis bit was that they also had a very strong engineering business. So now that we've become in Western Australia the largest fishing company, we have 22 vessels within our fleet. So having an engineering business where we can service, rebuild, um, and managed to build the boats to our specifications was a big part of how we operate our business today. So it's um, there's a lot of work for a lot more people um, in, a, in a beautiful, positive way. The integration, uh, we expected many bumps within the road. There were very few, which was really, really comforting. Um, and uh, within, I think, a few months, we were very much a family and I think the way in which we went to trade and market um, through the end of half two of 2022 was really great and positive and exciting and, and we finished the, the year well. Uh, you know, there was always challenges in what's happening in the market, but I think we, 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 did, the, we did it really well. Alex Kalis remained and stood on as a CEO, um, so we've got some very strong leadership 
um, and with our uh, mother company support in, in South Africa through their board, um, they've empowered us to be able to drive the business the way we felt it needed to be driven from an MSC sustainable perspective, uh, very much a provenance perspective and a sales and marketing perspective. So, so I think we've ticked a lot of boxes there, which is very good for the industry. So it's very Australia focused. Yeah, it's a great story and a really good a tra a transition, um, a good, a best in class way of merging two in really important companies. And look, I think from an SIA perspective, we're very excited. MG Callis was a founding member of SIA and to see that continuity come across from Sea Harvest is really rewarding for us. So we say you've recently become a member, but MG Kalis was, has continued, you're continuing on MG Kalis's history there. Can you let me know for Sea Harvest, what it is about SIA that caught your interest and, and what leads you to, to be involved? What are any yeah, priorities? The absolutely. Priorities? I think as a, as a Sea Harvest smaller business that we were, we were always, we were very West Australian centric. And what we mean by that is, um, even though we did some national sales and we were, we have a national sales team, um, you know, working through the local bodies is, is what we always did. We, we were very strong in community in Western Australia, and we talk about Carnarvon, uh, where we invest quite heavily and do a lot of marketing. Um, once the acquisition came through, we always knew that being part of a national body like SIA was so significantly important to our business. But it was a hurdle that we had to just kind of wait and, and, and play with. Now, now that we've really jumped on board, we're really excited working with SIA. And to see what um, can occur, and we're looking forward to 2023 very much so, uh, especially from a global marketing perspective, I think is one. Um, and, and, and I think even through the COVID part, uh, I think SIA really showed the industry what you were about and how we can support. Um, and, you know, having that connection to the, um, the government ministers, etc., I think is, is very part of explaining our story. And, and the challenges that are within our industry, um, we cannot work and operate without that relationship. So, so we thank you uh, for supporting our business and, and we will do the best we can to support yours. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Dimitri. I think it's really, I think what we learn more and more at SIA is that our enga the engagement with our members, their direction and their vision is super important to the, to the results. We can do the work, but it's what the members put into the engagement that's super important. So we very much value our membership base and we thank you for being involved and thank you for today, for, for taking the time uh, to talk to us and let us know a little bit more. So uh, for anyone who's watching, I encourage you to visit our website and click on the Join SIA tab as well and get involved in the National Peak Body. And Dimitri's spoken about that connection between Advocacy National and, and the community. And it's very important that we keep that, keep that flowing. So thank you, Dimitri. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very, very much, Veronica.